So this is my old Canon G7X Mark II, and this is the newer Canon G7X Mark III. Hello, Darren Alf here from BicycleTouringPro.com. I am in the White Mountain National Forest in the U.S. state of Maine right now. It's been raining on and off all day today, but it's dry at the moment. That's why I've got my rain jacket on. Um, last week, I went out and purchased a new camera, the Canon G7X Mark III video camera, to replace my older Canon G7X Mark II. This is the camera that I've been using for the past several years to create my videos here on the Bicycle Touring Pro YouTube channel. And like I've discussed in previous videos, I really like this camera, but one of the things I don't like about this camera is that the onboard microphone really sucks. And it sucks especially when there's wind noise, uh, which there's usually a lot of when you ride a bicycle. So I wanted to get a new camera that would allow me to add an external microphone to the camera, um, and that external microphone would be covered in a big old wind sock, which would then allow me to create better audio when I'm shooting my videos out on the road. So now that I have my new Canon G7X Mark III, the upgrade to this old camera, which does have a microphone input and does have an external microphone added to the camera now with a big old windsock on it, I thought that I would go out and test these two cameras side by side so that you can hear the difference between this old Canon G7X Mark II with no external microphone and my new Canon G7X Mark III with the external microphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start with the old camera, the Canon G7X Mark II, which has no microphone, and I'm going to record just a little bit while I'm standing here on the side of the road, and then I'm going to ride up the road a little bit, uh, riding at about 18 miles per hour so that I'm generating some wind noise, some self-generated wind noise while I'm riding, and I'll talk to the camera, and hopefully you can hear the difference between standing still and riding my bike. Then, once I've done that with the old camera, I'll switch to the new Canon G7X Mark III, and I'll do that first with no microphone attached so that you're just hearing the onboard microphone sounds uh, while I'm riding. And then finally, I will add the external microphone, record a little bit while I'm standing still, and record a little bit while I'm riding my bike at 18 miles an hour so that you can hear how the audio differs between these three different camera setups. Okay, so the first camera that we're going to be testing today is the Canon G7X Mark II. This is my older camera. I'm shooting with it now, and there is no external microphone. You are hearing the onboard microphone sounds. As I'm standing still in a quiet forest, there's no wind today. Um, this is what the camera sounds like. Okay, so now I'm on my bicycle and riding at about 18 miles an hour. So there is some self-generated wind noise. I can hear it in my ears, but can you hear it in the microphone? My experience has been that sometimes the audio is okay with this camera, depending on where the wind is coming from. And other times, the audio is not so good, depending on where the wind is coming from. So a car just passed in the background. How did that affect the audio? The other thing I'd like you to pay attention to is not only the audio, but the video as well. Once I switch to the new camera, can you tell the difference in video quality between the old Canon G7X Mark II, which I'm shooting with right now, and the newer Canon G7X Mark III? Okay, so now I'm using the Canon G7X Mark III, which is the new camera, and I have removed the external microphone. So you are hearing the camera now as it would sound straight out of the box. There is no external microphone. You are hearing the onboard microphone right now. Can you see a difference in quality in the video? And can you hear a difference in audio sound as well between the older Canon G7X Mark II that I used just a minute ago? Okay, so now I'm on the bike going 18 miles an hour with the Canon G7X Mark III. One of the things that I have noticed about the differences in designs with these two cameras is that the microphone, the onboard microphone, has changed in design a little bit from the Canon G7X Mark II to the Canon G7X Mark III. So I suspect that the onboard microphone with this new camera is a lot better than the one on the Canon G7X Mark II, the older camera. But can you tell the difference in audio?
Okay, so I have the Canon G7X Mark III mounted with the external road microphone now, and it has a big old wind sock on it, so that should help to dramatically cut out the wind noise. Can you hear improved audio quality now that I have the external microphone plugged in? I sure hope you can. There's a mosquito. Now, I'm just standing here, so there's really not a lot of background noise or anything else going on at the moment, um, so the audio quality should be pretty good. When I ride my bike here in just a moment, that should be the big test. Can you hear much wind noise in the background? Okay, so I'm on the bike now, riding at 18 miles an hour, and again, today is a very calm, still day. There's really no wind uh, blowing, so it's maybe not the best day to be testing this, but I am creating some self-generated wind as I ride my bicycle down the road. Can you hear that wind noise in the background? I'm sure you can hear a little bit of it, but hopefully this external microphone that's plugged into the camera now is dramatically cutting out a lot of that self-generated wind so that you can hear my voice a whole lot better. This is the main reason that I upgraded to this camera is I wanted to create a sense of better audio in my videos. Now there's a car coming up behind me. I'm just, just gonna keep recording so that you can hear that. But this happens a lot when I'm recording my videos. Cars make a lot of noise and they oftentimes just totally ruin my shots because you can't hear me when the car is going past. So I have to time my recordings uh, so that I'm talking when there's no cars around. That can be hard to do. But hopefully this microphone is gonna allow me to maybe record in some instances when otherwise I would have had to totally like scratch that footage because you couldn't hear me. So hopefully you could hear me a little bit even when that car was going past. That would be really, really good. Okay, so you've now seen and heard three different camera setups. You saw the Canon G7X Mark II with the onboard microphone. There is some self-generated wind noise. I can hear it in my ears, but can you hear it in the microphone? You saw and heard the Canon G7X Mark III with the onboard microphone. Okay, so now I'm on the bike going 18 miles an hour with the Canon G7X Mark III. And then finally, you saw and heard the Canon G7X Mark III with an external road microphone with a big old windsock on it. I'm on the bike now, riding at 18 miles an hour. And again, today is a very calm, still day. There's really no wind. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that third setup with the external microphone looked and sounded really, really good. Please leave a comment down below and let me know which of these three setups you liked the most. Which one looked and sounded the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been useful to you. If you are interested in purchasing any of the cameras or equipment that I mentioned in this video, please check the links in the video description below. Here is a car going past. We're going to test the microphone again. Woo! Okay, once again, I am Darren Alf from BicycleTurningPro.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you out on the road sometime soon. Bye-bye.